Hello everybody, welcome to back to CNS Corvettes here in sunny Florida. This is Lyle and I'm here with kind of an exciting announcement for people who own C4 or fourth generation Corvettes. That's 1984 through 1996 cars. For a long time, there was no real good solution for replacing suspension bushings in those cars. The original factory rubber was never really offered in bulk. You could never, I never found even a decent one that I could use. So everybody has gone to polyurethane. It's inexpensive and there's like 20 companies that make it. Here's the problem. Polyurethane is very hard and polyurethane squeaks to high heaven when you drive down the street. And worst of all, unlike rubber that wears over time, polyurethane just fails. It'll be good today and tomorrow it'll be in crumbles on your driveway, just like this. This is polyurethane. This is a high performance, high dollar polyurethane bushing right here. That's what happens to polyurethane. And now you have to go back and redo the entire job again. And until today, you had to go buy more polyurethane. Well, we here at CNS Corvettes recognize that problem because a lot of people down here in our area still drive these cars every day. So we met and partnered with Super Pro out of Australia. Super Pro, if you don't know, is the largest manufacturer of high performance bushings in the world. Uh, everything from Dakar Rally to Japanese street racers to the supercars, they just don't have much here in the United States. Well, we got a chance to meet them at the SEMA show about four years ago. And over the last three years, we've been working in concert with them to develop Super Pro bushings for the 84 to 96 Corvette. Now these bushings are very different than what you're used to seeing as polyurethane bushings. Uh, they are made out of something called a synthetic elastomer. Now, while polyurethane is itself technically a synthetic elastomer, any dude with a mold and three chemicals he can mix together in a pan and pour into the mold can make bushings. These are all structurally designed and engineered by Super Pro to perform perfectly for the duration of the life of your car. It's one of the only bushings I've ever seen that had a lifetime warranty from the manufacturer. And they are all one piece. You know why they're one piece? Because they're malleable enough and squishable enough to squeeze through an opening without having to go from both sides like you do on the hard polyurethane. I'm gonna demonstrate that for you in a moment. But the beauty to this is it gives you a better ride than rubber, a better ride than polyurethane, still gives you the same performance as polyurethane, and it doesn't squeak, and once you install these in your car, they're guaranteed for life. So this is, in front of me, I have the complete kit for a 1988 to 96 Corvette. We also have the kit for the 84 to 87. The main difference being uh, the bushings for the strut rods at the rear are a little different on the later car, and the later car had the addition of some sway bar bushings at the front on the lower control arm. But they've all been engineered specifically for CNS Corvettes by Super Pro, specifically for your car. Uh, this kit is offered as you see it. We also engineered and did the giant differential support, or what we call in the industry the bat wing bushings. Uh, we didn't include them in the kit because a lot of people may not go that deep when they're trying to get their car to ride better or to be able to be aligned. Uh, but they are available separately. Uh, let's take a walk next door and let me show you a couple of things that, uh, that I think you'll be interested in seeing. I brought you into the shop to give you an example of just how easily these bushings are installed. Now, once you've gone through the trouble of removing your old bushings from, say, your rear suspension trail arm, and you're ready to push a new bushing in, uh, with polyurethane, you have to use two different pieces to go in and then you push a rod in and they kind of work for a while. Let me show you the difference with a synthetic elastomer. My uh, cohort Steve is gonna help me with this one. I'll narrate while he does it. Now, most shops are going to have a press that they can use to do this, but for today, we're just gonna illustrate how easy this is using a common element you'd find in almost anybody's workshop, and that is a hand vise. Uh, you see how Steve has laid this out. So the weight of it is down here being kept in position. And we've just put the rag in there so you can get a clearer look of what, how easy this is. Now Steve's gonna go ahead and crank and he's gonna slide it in.
There we go. Nice and easy. Now, we're gonna go ahead and back that off real quick, and we're gonna put a spacer behind it so that the lip comes out the other side and captures here. Uh, the space we're using today is a gigantic socket, but realistically, because the, the small amount of pressure required to mount these things in place, you could even use a piece of PVC tube as your spacer. You can see Steve is not even straining to do this. It's nice and easy. All right, that done. Here you go. And here you go, guys. That is a perfectly placed brand new bushing that's gonna last you for the life of your car. So let's go back inside. I'll give you the last bit of information on this stuff. That pretty much does it for our demonstration, guys. I just wanted to share with you how resilient, revolutionary, and just downright cool these things really are. Uh, if you want to find out more about the material that's used in them or you want to get a hold of a set for your own car, uh, you can find us at Corvette Parts Center, that's P-A-R-T-S Center.com. Uh, you can call me at 800-886-5064 or you could just Google C and S Corvettes. C stands for Corvette, S stands for Stingray. I also highly recommend you Google Super Pro all one word, out of Australia, and read about some of the amazing vehicles that their product has been installed in in the past. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys and look forward to answering any questions, but most of all, I'm looking forward to getting your C4 back on the road, going in a straight line and riding better than the day it was new. Thanks for listening.